welcome to the Star Wars Connection podcast series. We are a group of international Star Wars fans discussing the ways of the Force. I'm Lee, and today I am joined by Maria. Hello, everyone. This is our third installment of the series, and today we will be talking about some exclusive information regarding secret filming sites for the recent Star Wars shoots. Yes, we have some very exciting updates about the possible secret locations of the Star Wars Episode 8 shoots in Ireland and Croatia. Before we begin, bear in mind that what we're about to share is all speculation. We don't have insider information here, but this speculation is very well researched and it's supported by interesting photographic evidence, which we'll share with you guys in a bit. So let's jump right in, Maria. What do we know so far? Well, we know episode 7 left off with Ray and Luke meeting in Acto. We have seen in the episode 8 teaser er, uh, released earlier this year that the next installment will pick up where the previous one left off. So we are assuming that the shooting location is meant to be Acto. It seems that Kylo Ren will be arriving there, possibly to face off against Ray and Luke. And all of this has already been reported and we will discuss it in another podcast. So we also know that Mark Hamill, Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver were spotted arriving in Ireland on May 13th. We saw pictures of them arriving together in Belfast, which of course, of course makes it likely that they are all filming together. Right, and it's been widely reported that they have filmed in County Donegal and in County Kerry, and we heard reports of Adam Driver's 5 a.m. workouts at a gym in Kerry, and we heard of multiple sightings of Mark Hamill and Daisy Ridley around town. So um, I think it's worth noting that the episode 8 shoot in Ireland was very efficient because they had these official filming locations, but they were also filming simultaneously at other sites, such as Browhead and Cork and Loophead and Clare. So it's just really hard to say where the main cast was at any given time. Yes, and aside from the shots that were made public in Cork, Clare, Donegal and Kerry, according to Irish media, they also had secret filming locations in Kerry. Some filming was apparently done in a place called Faran, a couple of miles from Sibylhead, and there was there was speculation about some other unknown location in Kerry as well. And from local sources in Donegal, we know that the cast and crew stayed in two different places in Donegal as well. According to reports from local sources at Ballyliffin in Donegal, the Star Wars Episode 8 filming Unit 1 crew left there on May 16th. And Ballyliffin is about 14 miles away from Mullinhead. Well, that's interesting because we've heard so much about the filming in Mullinhead, but we haven't heard any mention of Ballyliffin in the press connected to Star Wars shoots. And we also heard that local sources spotted crew members in a place called Moville, which is 20 miles from Mullinhead in Donegal. So who knows what other locations they have been filming at? Exactly, and we we uh, recently learned of a new possible secret f- filming location, which is which is very intriguing. We got a tip from one of our podcast producers that, according to local sources, the cast and crew of Episode Eight were staying at a place called Lissard Estate sometime in May, and uh, Daisy really posted an image of Instagram on May eighteenth, and it seems to match with that. And where is this estate? Lissard is an estate in West Cork, in Ireland. It is private property. Basic, basically, it's 200 acre of woodland with its own mansion and private lake and some awesome, awesome space-looking gardens. And as we had previously said, there is a known Star Wars shoot already in Cork at Browhead. Right, and that's public knowledge, but we think that there might have been a secret shoot in Lissard estate, and Browhead is about 30 miles from Lissard. Wow, and we're looking at a picture of it right now, and it's just beautiful and certainly very spacey looking with that circle garden thing. The private lake is called Abisdili, Loch Abisdili, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We're seeing a picture of it here, and from what has been pieced together, as you say, this might be the lake that appears in a picture that Daisy really shared on May 18th on Instagram. Right, and uh, if you look at the photo Daisy posted, there's a, there is a lot of iris sedacorus, also known, uh, known as wild water iris. And if you google images of the lake, at least art is full of them. And in Daisy's photo, one is even in a bloom, which means that it's indeed iris sedacorus and not some other kind of iris. 
This flower also proves that the photo was taken in the third or fourth week of May because that's when Iris is bloom and that's when it starts and only one is in bloom so that must be the beginning of blooming wow. season. <laughs> that's top notch flower matching I have to say. That seems like a big clue. Yes, I mean there are almost 300 different uh, 300 different 300 different kinds of irises and it would be a big coincidence if Daisy just happened to be by some random lake that had exactly the same type of iris as, as uh, the lake at Lissard and that is, and uh, the terrain the shape of the forest and hills around Lissard all match what appears in Daisy's picture. Well, that's awesome sleuthing. And on top of that, it seems that Chelsea Hamill, Mark Hamill's daughter, recently Instagrammed a picture of what appears to be Lissard Garden, or what is known as the Sky Garden. And there were also some tweets from local sources that support this Lissard filming site theory. Um, so on May 25th, a user on Twitter recognized the lake in Daisy's picture as a Lissard estate lake, and he seemed pretty confident about it. And also on May 25th, someone tweeted that Mark Hamill had just left Lassard. So the more we learn about it, and now looking at all these beautiful images, putting it all together, to me it really seems that there could have been some Star Wars filming done at the Lassard estate. It seems like it could be a possibility for sure. So if you put it all together, it seems that the group, including Daisy Ridley, was in Lissard as of May 18th and maybe even before then. And according to local sources, Mark Hamill might have been spotted leaving Lissard on May 25th. So that means that there were members of the Episode 8 cast and crew at Lissard for at least one week. And that's certainly enough time to shoot if there was a hidden set on Lissard. And so we have all these secret filming locations. Let's think about that for a minute. What does this mean? The first thing that comes to my mind is that maybe Lissard will be Octu because of how episode seven left off. You know, we think that Octu will be the site of Ray's possible training with Luke Skywalker. And Lissard looks very lush and green, very similar to what we've seen of Octu so far. And that, of course, was filmed at Skellig Michael, but that's not a place where you'd go do stunts and fighting scenes. Just to get up there, you have to go up all those steps, and any filming there has to be done carefully to avoid damaging the site. So it just makes sense, when you think about it, that they would use a similar looking location that's more accessible and also maybe more out of the way so that people don't know exactly what's going on there. The fact that it's hidden makes it very intriguing, doesn't it? Yes, for sure. I mean, looking at the pictures of this case, I'm somehow reminded of Luke's training with Yoda in Dagobah, the cave of evil, of evil Luke ent enters to confront his darkness in Empire Strikes Back. We know that Episode 7 had plenty of callbacks, so I think we can expect something like that in Episode 8. That's a really good point. And let's take a look at that stone structure in the middle of this basin. So this crater structure is meant to be for sky gazing, according to information on the Lissard Resort website. The stone structure is meant to be laid on in order to gaze up at the sky, with the surrounding dome supposedly creating an interesting visual effect. But looking at it here, to me it looks a little bit like a tomb or an altar. And we were told in Episode 7 that Luke was looking for the original Jedi Temple, and that quest led him to Ahch too. So I'm wondering, could we be looking at part of the site of the original Jedi Temple? Maybe the entrance of the temple? Um, I think it, it could be. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. And uh, speaking of tomb, do you remember that early concept art for The Force Awakens? That image of Kira, now Rey, entering a cave or a chamber called the throne room, where a hooded figure was seated. Doesn't this somehow remind you of that? Like, maybe uh, this might be a portal or ent entrance to such a place. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting point. And it could be like a literal portal or entrance to somewhere else. So like a gate, a force gate maybe. Or it could be that that entire sequence with Kira entering um, the, the throne room, maybe that's just a vision that Rey's going to have of herself confronting maybe Snoke or who knows where. Maybe she's not really leaving Ahch too, um, but this vision can happen during her training with Luke. And if it turns out that Lissard is Ahch too, then it very well might be the place where Rey and Kylo Ren will have their rumored showdown. And that's certainly going to be very interesting, the moment where Ke where Rey and Kylo Ren face off against each other. 
Yes, exactly. And I think we could be looking at a picture of a place where Kylo Ren and Rey will meet again. It's so beautiful. Just look at it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely. Yes, and uh, we also have information about the possible six, uh, about the possible uh, second hidden location. This one in Croatia. And back in October 2015, the major of Croatian city called Šibenik said in an interview that he and Major of Dubrovnik were in the process of, of negotiations with Lucasfilm and that if this worked out, Star Wars might be filmed in Croatia. Yeah, and we all remember the famous Dubrovnik shoot in Croatia with the beautiful sets and the elegantly dressed aliens. Some people thought it might be like a space Las Vegas or some kind of casino. Right, well, two weeks before the Dubrovnik shot, uh, the major of Dubrovnik made a statement along the lines of too many things had been leaked to the press and that nothing else must come out. And the way he said it suggested to some people that there was more to know. And this is just a guess, but somehow he was very mysterious about that. Hmm, well, what about Shibanek then? It wasn't mentioned again in connection to Star Wars, and a lot of people seem to think that the Croatian islands might be perfect for Star Wars because of how beautiful and rugged the terrain is. Exactly, and we've done some digging and we found out some interesting facts. So in Šibenik there are the Karnati Islands, which are uninhabited, and the road that leads there was closed five days before the Dubrovnik filming started, and it stayed closed for eight days after it ended. Also, four small hotels there were all sold out, which is highly unusual for this time of the year. and. Uh, there is also a small restaurant in the same area, which is usually closed except during peak season. But during the time period, they were uh, posting pictures of dishes on their Facebook page, which means that they were working, I guess. It's all speculation, of course, but it sounds like there was something more going on there. Well, that's very interesting because we know that there seems to be a trend to have secret filming locations for episode eight. So I'm wondering if it's possible that Dubrovnik was the visible kind of official shoot and then Kornati could have been the hidden shoot. And if so, what could they be hiding there? That is a good question. I wonder if it, if it could be something special or very key to the story. I mean, Kornati is about seven or eight hours away from Dubrovnik, and it's far enough to give them privacy for a second shot. Well, we know that there were rumors about Mark Hamill being spotted in Dubrovnik during the filming there, uh, but multiple sources said that he wasn't actually filming. And we also know that Daisy Ridley's stunt double was in Croatia during the time of the Dubrovnik shoot. And much has been made of that because why would Daisy's stunt double be present in a shoot as a regular extra? We're talking about a highly skilled, world-class stunt woman. It seems kind of odd that they would fly her out just to stand around and be filler during a scene. So if she was there, does that mean Daisy was also there? And if so... Were there Luke and Ray scenes being filmed? I think it is uh, possible this is also meant to be acto or part of it. I mean, look at these ruins found on Kornati. It reminds me of that recent rumor that Luke and Ray go around acto looking for Jedi ruins. Yeah, you're right. And But, you know, looking at it now, it could also be something else entirely. And it could mean that maybe... Luke and Ray leave Octu and travel to a second location together. Maybe they go on a mission somewhere. And if it turns out that Luke and Ray end up going to a space casino on a mission together, it will be very reminiscent of Anakin and Obi-Wan in that nightclub in Attack of the Clones. You know, the, the scene with the death sticks. That would be another great callback. Oh my god, so much speculation right now. Interesting stuff, but uh, as Kylo Ren would say, we'll see. We'll see indeed. <laughs> so that's all the time we have today. We'd like to thank all of our contributors and, of course, our viewers. We hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming podcasts. And we'd love to hear your feedback. You can leave a comment for us in the comments section or you can email us at starwarsconnection09 at gmail.com. Until next time, may the Force be with you. May the Force be with you.